Hi guys, Ashish this side. In this video, I'll show you how you can use excel.currentworkbook and how we can solve the recursion problem in Power Query. Let's open up the Excel file. So this is our Excel file. We have four weeks saves data in each separate sheet. We will first see the how excel.currentworkbook help into that. I'll go to the data tab, click on from table and range. So Power Query has imported the data. And Power Query has implemented two steps, source and change data type. If I click on a source, you will see in the formula bar excel.currentworkbook and then table name. First power query analyze excel.currentworkbook and then it filter out the table. If I delete this table name and keep only excel.currentworkbook, then it will show all the tables in my sheet. Let's do that. I delete this, hit enter. As I showed it to earlier, we have four week sales data, week one, week two, week three, week four. Instead of importing each table separately into Power Query, we can simply use excel.currentworkbook. If I want to combine these tables, I simply need to click. Then I will uncheck this option use original column as a prefix. I will click on that. Click OK. Are you sure you want to insert a step? OK. And Power Query has combined all the table in just few clicks. I will remove this. Before close and load back data into Excel, I'll change the query name combined week table. I'll go to close and load and you'll see we have 29 rows. In each week we have 7 entries only. That means 28 rows. Just note currently it's showing only 29. If I refresh the query, our query will keep on adding the rows into my data. That is a recursion problem. Let's see how we can solve this issue. I will double click on the query to open the query editor. Earlier we removed the column which was showing the table name. I will undo that step. Now you will see the problem of that recursion. If you remember we had only 4 week data. Every time we refresh the query, our query is adding this combined week table into our data. So we need to stop that. How we can do that? We need to open the filter then text filter then does not contain and then we need to give the query name make sure you give the query name correctly table does not contain week table we want that data only I click ok now we have only week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4 data let's load this data back to excel and see if the problem has been resolved or not I click on close and load and now you will see the 28 rows only and even if I refresh the query, it's 28 column only. Let's say we have received a new week data and we want to combine this into this table. I'll simply copy that sheet. Give the table name as a week 5. I'll go back to my query sheet. I'll simply refresh it. And we have 35 rows. If you see in the filter, you have a week 5 data. That's it for the video. That's how you can use excel.currentworkbook and solve the recursion problem in Power Query and easily set up the compilation file which helps you compiling the data in a quick manner.